Hancock, Sidney James, Bill Kerr, Hattie Jakes, and Kenneth Williams in... Hancock's Half Hour. Presents... Hancock. How old is this place, Hancock? What place? I told you, Sid, we're having cod. It's so fresh I caught it myself in the North Atlantic yesterday. <laughs> no, here, 23 railway cuttings. The house, you idiot. <laughs> well, why didn't you say? I think it's quite old, probably medieval. Part of the old palace of East Cheam. I think number 23 is the king's bedroom chamber. Get off, where's his bed then? His bed's long since gone, Sid. I had to sell it to pay for the redecoration. What redecoration? You're not telling me this place is decorated, are you? Long before you came along, Sid, the whole house used to be done out in chocolate brown paint. But it's still chocolate brown. Yes, but it's a new pot done in the modern style. It's mud oak brown, Sid, if you must know. Anyway, what's all this interest in railway cuttings? Are you thinking of buying it, Sid? Why on earth would I do that? No, some very strange things have been happening recently, and I'm trying to find out why. Oh no, what's happening, Sid? Has the milk turned green? Have they delivered yesterday's papers again? Have you run out of shaving foam quite suddenly? <laughs> Oh, uh, it's nothing silly like that, Hancock. To be honest, I think the house is haunted. There's a tortured spirit from the underworld come to live here. <laughs> but I thought you'd lived here years, Sid. <laughs> not me, you idiot. A ghost. It could be dangerous. You're not going soft on us, are you, Sid? What the great Sid James, am I a boxer of gold is green, scared of an apparition? Go on, give him a left, give him a right, a straight jab. Oh, look, it's gone right through him. <laughs> You know me, Edgar. I ain't no scaredy cat. I ain't afraid of no ghost. It's just weird. The temperature of me room keeps dropping. I told you in winter, Sid, you need an extra pair of long johns. Look here, I'll give you a pile of fifties and you just put them in the meter and good old Faithful, our one bar electric eater, will start warming one side of you again. <laughs> There's a lot more going on than that. Every now and then the airs on me neck start to stand on end. That's simple, that's static that is, Sid. It's your cravat. When you take it off, don't crack it like a whip. It creates a lot of electricity, that does. <laughs> You're not taking it seriously, are you? I don't wear a cravat. Anyway, I've been touched, like a hand run on my shoulder and down my arm. Oh, that happens all the time. Don't worry about that. It's old Fred, the equerry to the king. He's a bit too friendly, is Fred. They call him Fredly. I had him stroke in my face and calling me an angel. <laughs> <laughs> Fred, you say? What's he look like? To be quite honest, Sid, I don't know. I just made him up. There's no ghost here. Why haven't I seen them? I'd put a cup of tea on for them and have a chat. At last, somebody I can get on with. <laughs> well, perhaps you're not psychic like me. Anyhow, it's only just started happening. Ha, 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 Sid. We'll have to call Ghostbusters then. When did the earth start moving for you then, Sid? It was last Tuesday. I was just going to bed when I saw this strange shadowy thing come out the corner of my eye. Then a mist came up from underneath the front door. Oh, that's nothing, Sid. That's the last bus. It always idles outside when he goes for a fag. No, this wasn't poisonous diesel fumes. <laughs> no, this was ethereal, and I felt a cold breeze, as if someone had just... <laughs> I'm sorry to spoil your version of the X-Files, Sid, but that was me with me mug of cocoa. <laughs> no, 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 it wasn't. You had gone to bed hours ago. I was burning the midnight oil. And then the light started flashing on, off, off, on, 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 off. Wait a minute, Sid, that's Morse code. It says, hello from Fred, you're standing on my foot. <laughs> well, what on earth was that then? Why, well, I tell you, Hancock, it must be the ghost. No, 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 it was outside the door. I'll go and have a look. Something must have fallen down. No, there's nothing out there. Yeah, he's invisible. I told you, he's a ghost. <coughs> no, 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 next door's Alsatian. He's probably chasing a cat. Or a ghost. Now you come to mention it, I have felt a dark, depressing weight on my shoulders the last few days, Sid. It's that heavy coat with a fur collar you wear. Don't you start. What's that? Who turned the light out? That's strange, Sid. It's almost as if someone is trying to tell us something. Perhaps it's Fred. Don't you remember, Sid? I made him up. It must be your subconscious trying to tell you something, Hancock. Yes, that's it. We need some help. I'll look online. 
Here, East Cheam Ghost Detective Agency, Madam A. Jakes and Baron Snide of Snide, Ghosts and Spirits Exorcised. I'll give them a ring. Hello, I am Madame Hattie Jakes from the Mystical East. Ah, the Mystical East. Where do you in fact hail from, Madame Jakes? I have come all the way from West Cheam. West Cheam? Where's that? It doesn't sound very eastern to me. Well, it is about 50 miles east of here. <laughs> this is my compatriot, Baron Snide of Snide. Good evening. Yes, and a very good evening to you too, I must say. And what can I do for you, Mr Hancock? Well, what we think we've got is a ghost, and we don't know what to do with it. Our knowledge of ghosts is a bit limited. Oh, wait a minute. Ah! For God's sake, what is it? He is going into the trance. He will soon be in contact with the other side. What? ITV? What do they want? <laughs> no, the other side. The veil of death. <laughs> Are you sure he's all right, Madam Jakes? I see a big castle with many men all dressed in green hose. Is this in the garden or something? Oh, no. Oh, they're all wearing green tights. Oh, they used to in those days. Oh, this place used to be a castle. There you are, Sid. What did I tell you? King Henry the Fourth, old gaff. Is there a large bed and a man called Fred? No. There is a lady. She wants to speak to him, Mr. Hancock. Is there a Mr. Hancock here? <laughs> yes, that's me. How does she know my name? What on earth can she want? She says she's in love with you and she finds you very attractive. So, what does this comely wench look like, Baron Snide? Oh, yes, he's very good looking across between Marilyn Monroe and Meghan Markle. Just my luck, I found the woman of my dreams and she's dead. <laughs> yeah, this sounds very interesting. Is there anyone out there for me, Baron Snide? Oh, well, let me see. No. <laughs> There is a lot of psychic phenomena in this house. I'm afraid we're going to have to contact an exorcism. Well, I don't know. My art, you see, I'm not used to exercise. <laughs> no, no. An exorcism is where we have to get the evil spirits out of you, Mr Hancock. I'm quite happy with me spirits, evil or not. It's him you've got to sort out. Sid James. Why me? What have I done? You've brought this upon us. You're full of evil spirits. You only have to take one look at you. You're full of ghoulies and ghosties. Ah, <laughs> oh, have you know, I went to a very religious school. You told me you were expelled from a very religious school for dressing up as a goth. <laughs> oh, no, I sense there is some tension between the two of you. Perhaps this is the cause of these psychic manifestations. Well, I wouldn't say there's any more than usual. Sid here is my best friend, and I don't loathe him that much. Well, Tar, very much. Yeah, but there has been a problem recently. It's my rent review. Old Nicholas Van Ugenstraten here wants to put me rent up from £100 a week to 250 It's daylight robbery. I wouldn't put up with it if I was you. It's not my fault. It's Brexit. All me costs have gone up. Stage makeup, Marmite, carrier bags, broccoli. <laughs> That's not 150 quid's worth, Hancock. Oh, yes, I can feel the tension. This is what is causing it. You need to resolve this now. Yes, all right. I won't sleep at night if he's manifesting all the time, will I? Sid, it's negotiable. 200 quid. Nah, 90 quid or no deal. But that's less than you're paying now. Woo! Yes, yes, all right. Anything for a good night's sleep. Thanks, Madam Jakes. Here's the 50 quid, I promised you. <laughs>